I wanted to be a doctor, as was said earlier. I had four uncles, I admired them all, and I loved the beauty of the profession. In that first quarter at the U, organic chemistry, math, physics, zoology, and German, I had three Ds, one F, and one incomplete. <clears throat> Living with my uncle, who was a pediatrician, who said, maybe you should be a hospital administrator. <laughs> So basically your vision, and this was not a vision that was widely shared at the time, you decided to build a mobile hospital delivery system. It was the first in the nation. The question was, how do you develop a broader array of assets? What's the answer to that? Uh, I took the Bank Holding Act, huh. in which banks can qualitate and you know, consolidate. Sure, sure. They have local boards, local presidents, local business interests, but the bank office is central. The assets are pooled, mm -hmm. so you get more leverage. You've seen an awful lot of change in healthcare, and you caused one of the bigger changes in healthcare. What do you see in the future? I see tremendous change. If you're making fifty thousand dollars a year, and ten thousand goes for healthcare, yeah. it's un, 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 it is not going to function anymore. It isn't a matter of the political parties. Republican or Democrat. It is a matter of society's overburden. They cannot afford this any longer. How do you get the cost down? <clears throat> Redundancy. Right down the street from Fairview Southdale Hospital, five blocks away, is a group of 25 orthopedic surgeons. They won't be happy to hear that. <laughs> no, of course not. Nor, nor should they be. And, uh, but that is our American system. But right. if that is going to come under examination, can the public afford it? You can't avoid it any longer. It was, <laughs> in the past, it was, it was affordable, but not now. Now our corporations cannot compete internationally because of health care costs. So there's a driving force that wasn't here before that's going to have to be addressed. Congratulations. Well, thank you. It's many years, it uh, should have been many years ago. <laughs> Actually, Carl, oh, thanks congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. That's very you. kind. Thank you. There's a little poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson, the story about Ulysses and uh, looking for the perfect world. And it goes this way, the long day wanes, the slow moon climbs, and the deep moans around with many voices. Come, my friends, join with me, for sitting well in order, we shall smite the sounding furrow, to strive, to seek, to find, to never yield. Thank you.